Hello everybody, we are back on the Hunter Call the Wild with the second giveaway winners video idea and today we're going to be going after the Sika deer again but we're going to be using every possible weapon that we can use on them so this is actually going to be pretty interesting and cool to see just like what you can use on the Sika deer and have it still be pretty efficient so we're going to use a variety of the 4 to 8 weapons I'm going to try and use every weapon that has a class 4 option so this might be a little longer video, I'm not sure how long it's going to be, but I guess we'll see shortly. But anyway, here is the winning comment right here. And like I was saying in the previous video, I've decided that I'm actually going to continue doing this. Uh, not the giveaway portion, but I am going to continue to do your guys' ideas. So if there is an idea for a video that you would like me to do, drop that in the comments right now. And also be sure to like the video. And yeah, maybe yours will get featured in a video and maybe your comment will get featured also. But anyway, to start out, I think we're going to use the 270. Uh, just before anybody asks, this variant right here, the 270 Warden, you can't actually get this anymore. This was a promotional thing for anybody that got Call of the Wild within the first month of its initial release back in 2017 and also had a The Hunter Classic membership. So you can't get this version of the 270 anymore, but who knows, maybe one of these days they'll bring it back. But we've got a bunch of Sika deer out here, and something I noticed is it actually takes them a long time. When I first got here, there was only three Sika deer over here, these guys right here. And then over the past like 20 real life minutes, the rest of these just slowly arrived. So it's definitely worth waiting towards the end of their drink time to actually go for them. So we're going to go ahead and try the 270 on this guy since he's broadside. And then we'll go for this one too. And yeah, it's looking pretty effective, honestly. We'll have to see what we hit on that first one. I'm very curious, but yeah, I'm impressed with that so far. All right, so here's the one that we dropped on the spot. I'm very curious if we actually hit heart or if this was just a double lung. So let's see. This was indeed, wow, left lung, liver, stomach, right lung. Okay, so if they're quartering and you can get both lungs plus the stomach or liver, you will drop them on the spot with the 270. What's crazy is I can't say the same for the 6.5 because we've been using the 6.5 on them a lot and I almost never drop them. Is the 270 actually stronger than the 6.5? I think it might be. We're going to have to see what this one is. So this right here is a spotted level 4 and on this guy we just got left lung liver and it barely ran anywhere. Honestly I'm pretty impressed so far with the 270. That's actually not bad. We're going to have to do a couple more kills with it just to get a better idea of what it can do. Now what I'd like to do for this shot is try to get a perfectly broadside one from around 150 away. Because that's going to be what you'll be taking most of the time when it comes to shots with a lower caliber rifle like the 270. So I would like to try and get a shot that would kind of give you an idea of what you can expect in most situations. You know that level 4 there is actually a red spotted. And that's a pretty good size rack on it too. It does have an estimate to where it could maybe be diamond. I don't think we'll get that lucky, but that would be pretty cool if we did. But anyway, this is about 170. We'll inch a little bit closer. I'd say 160 is probably good. Yeah, we'll go with that. So let's see what it does to a level four Seekadir broadside. You know, that's not bad. That actually died pretty quickly. If these guys don't run away completely, we'll try to get a couple with a 6.5 because I'd like to test as many of them as I can uh, without having to reset the time. So hopefully we can get a couple of these to calm down so we can take them with the 6.5. I think that one might have been a little high, but that one looked good on him. I don't want to delete this zone though, so that's probably the last one we'll shoot here. Alright, so here is the red spotted one that we took out with the 270, and actually that's a really good looking rack on it. Very interested to see what this scores, and also interested to see where we hit it. This guy's a 179 gold, and yes, that was a perfect double lung. So with a double lung, it'll only run a little ways, I mean, it couldn't have ran more than like 20 feet, so that's really good to know. That is really good to know. So the 270 is more than viable for the Sika Deer. That's awesome. And now for the 6.5, this one was a heart double lung. So this one we can't really get a good idea. Uh, so we'll just breeze past that one. 
and this guy right here was a single lung liver stomach and it ran a little ways I feel like that's about the same that we got with the 270 though with a shot like that so we'll have to get a couple more with the 6.5 just to make sure that it really is kind of in line with the 270 all right so we got a bunch of Sika deer over there this will be pretty good for testing because they're spaced out enough to where I think we can probably kill a couple of these Ooh, they're traveling though that's definitely gonna be a little bit rough we've actually got a Sika deer right here so we'll go ahead and do another test with the 6.5 I want to get a perfect broadside shot if I can you know this one's actually perfectly broadside we'll try her and put one in him also this should give us an idea of what the 6.5 can do and then you guys have already seen a ton with the 303 so uh, we don't even need to get close with this thing it pretty much just annihilates anything from any range so yeah we kind of already know what the 303 does but figured I'd toss a couple shots with that in there just so you guys can get a another look at it but yeah 303 drops them in their tracks no matter the range so yeah 303 is definitely a solid option probably the best option for these guys but I'll let you guys decide for yourself which one you think is probably gonna be the gun you're gonna use but here is double lung with the 6.5 as you can see it didn't run too far it ran a little ways but not super super far and believe we shot the female right here yeah this is where we hit her and she barely ran at all so I believe this was a perfect double lung also and yeah so double lung with the 6.5 is about the same as the 270 maybe a little bit better actually so so far it seems like 6.5 is better than the 270 but the 303 is better than both of them and let's get a look at the two that we took out with the 303 as you can see single lung and it died immediately that's is the power of the 303 you don't even need to get double lung just a single lung and it'll drop on the spot and this guy right here was a double and he dropped on the spot also as you would imagine so yeah 303 is a powerhouse and I absolutely love it so I just switched the time but we do have a few Sika deer traveling right here so if we can get to about 150 we will test out our fourth gun which is the Eckers 30-06 now this used to be a favorite of a lot of people I know some people don't like the brand new sound of it but I think it's still obviously a solid gun when it comes to power so we're gonna test that out next and see just exactly how good it is with the CK it should be almost in line with the 303 I think the only difference is one less uh, expansion but yeah we'll see how it does this little guy is about 150 away which is kind of our testing range See if we can get a second one we dropped that first one though absolutely dropped it in its tracks and that was probably a single lung right there as you can see though it actually ran a little ways so I'm kind of interested where we actually hit that there is a chance that maybe that was liver or uh, intestines all right, so here's the one that we dropped in its tracks I believe this has to be a double lung and yep yeah, double lung liver stomach <laughs> absolutely destroyed that poor thing absolutely destroyed it so yeah we kind of expected that one to drop from the 30 out six but this next one is the one I'm really curious about because it actually ran a little ways and I'm pretty sure we did get a lung so definitely interested and yeah that's a vital hit that is a vital hit I'm wow I'm really curious yeah it was just a single lung from 220 meters but the 303 dropped it with a single lung hit from 260 meters I believe it's either 260 or 230 but roughly the same range and that really just shows the difference between the 30 out 6 and the 303 even though the 303 only has one more expansion and identical penetration it had the extra power to drop the Sika with a single lung. Where the 30 out 6 didn't, it still ran 50 meters. That is crazy. I actually didn't expect that, so that's really good to know. Alright, so that is a Sika deer right there. Let's try to take it out. I came over to claim this one that I uh, ended up screwing up the shot on. 
and we got ourselves another seeker right here with the 30 out six so close range left lung li liver stomach you should be good so as long as you clip something else with the lung you should be okay 30 out six is still more than capable of taking them down it's just not quite as strong as the 303 all right so we got some more seeker deer right here and we're on to the next set of four weapons we're going to start off with the 3030. This is a gun I've actually had quite a few people ask me about. So we're going to go ahead and try that out. Need to get these guys to stop moving though. That one must have been a heart shot. It had to have been. So as you can see, even with that quartering shot, this one didn't run too far. I'm kind of actually a little bit impressed that it only ran that distance. I guess 3030 might actually have enough power to take these guys down pretty effectively. And this was just left lung liver, so I'd imagine double lung is going to be about the same. And it might even drop them. We'll have to test it out a little bit more. But that's definitely about where we wanted it to hit. Getting a left lung and liver on it, and it only ran 26 meters. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Now this guy right here dropped on the spot. I'm almost certain we hit heart. We pretty much had to have. Yeah, heart shot double lung, kind of as I expected. So we're gonna have to kill a couple more just to get a better idea. But there's a bunch of secret here right there. These are the only ones I see here as of now. So we're gonna try and get a little bit closer. That way we can actually use the 3030 on one of them. Because the 3030 kind of maxes out at 150 meters. Uh, if you go past that, there's just not as much power to it. So I want to try and stay within 150, preferably 100 or just above. And it looks like we will be able to get there. And that is perfect right there. So let's try to get two more Sika down. I think, yeah, we got that into the lungs. Good. All right, so before they get away, let's go ahead and take one of them out with the Mosin. All right, so for these guys, I want to make sure we start exactly... Hello there. Um, guess we'll take this guy out too once he turns a little bit. Well, <laughs> that uh, dropped him on the spot. Kind of hoping I didn't hit heart there, but... Let's see what the 3030 did on what appears to be some double lung shots. So right here is the first one that we took out and it ran 47 meters with a perfect double lung. So 3030 is a little bit underpowered, little underpowered to say the least, but I mean, it'll still work on them. They'll just run a little ways. Now this second one, we got to go grab the blood from that and then we'll be back to it. All right, so I grabbed the vital blood where we hit it and let's see what it says so 32 meters on a double lung there I think that was a little bit closer though so yeah obviously the closer you are with the 3030 the better it's gonna be but I don't really see the 3030 being that useful as of now it's the worst one we've tried out on these guys uh, both the 270 and 6.5 beat it out so 3030 is not super viable unless you're probably within a hundred meters but now to check out the one that we shot with the Mosin. I'm very curious if this was just a double lung or if this had the heart in there too. Because if this is a double lung, then the Mosin's pretty good. Wow, that was right lung only. Oh my gosh. So the Mosin dropped it on the spot with just a right lung. That's actually pretty incredible. I'm very impressed with the Mosin. Wow, okay, we're gonna have to do some testing from a little bit further ranges because we were pretty close there, but Jeez, I did not expect that Okay, so there's a Sika right there. It's actually fleeing. I'm not sure why but this will be a opportunity to test this out so Yeah, it looks like from further away single lungs definitely not as powerful But even from that distance it barely ran at all. It's in line with the 6.5 and the 270 So that's pretty impressive honestly so here's where the shot initially hit, and yeah, it barely ran at all. That's pretty impressive. And it was just a single lung hit. That's not bad at all. 18 meter run distance from a single lung. That's like half of the distance that they ran from the 30-30 with a double lung. 
So yeah, Mosin is definitely towards the top of good rifles to use for the Seekadir. So technically you really could just run Mosin and the 22 and you would be completely fine to kill everything on the map. Because we all know the Mosin is decent at killing Red Deer, so that would actually be a pretty viable loadout using just the Mosin and the 22 and then you could carry your tents and stands and all that good stuff too. But one last test for the Mosin, we're going to try a longer range shot from 230 meters, so we'll zero to 300 and aim slightly low. And dropped it. Kind of what I expected. That one right there should be a single lung. So we'll get a couple good looks at this. Alright, so before this guy runs off, let's go ahead and use our next weapon on him. Which, that next weapon is the 7mm. I expect this to just drop him no matter what angle we hit him at. Yeah, it's kind of what I expected, but <laughs> we'll still do a couple more shots on these guys with the 7mm. But I'm thinking the 7mm is probably going to be pretty overpowered for these guys. Easily the biggest weapon you're actually able to use on them. Alright, so this one dropped on the spot. And that was just liver left lung. And yeah, Mosin dropped it on the spot. Pretty impressive for the Mosin. But the one thing I've noticed about the Mosin is it is a little bit inaccurate at times. So that's one thing to watch out for. Alright, so now for this little guy right here, 36 meters, and that was a vertebrae single lung. So, yeah, close range, a single lung will drop them, but from the further ranges, you definitely need to hit double lung or lung liver. But it's still, like I was saying, on par with the 6.5 and the 270, so not all that bad from the Mosin. So I accidentally grabbed the track from this guy further back, so the tracking distance is going to be off, but he dropped in his tracks, so it's not really going to matter at all. And that was just double lung. Just double lung from 189 meters, and he dropped on the spot. Kind of what I was expecting to see from the 7mm, so... Not bad, 7mm is definitely going to be the most powerful weapon you can use on them, but... That single shot part of it is kind of... Kind of holding it back, unfortunately. I'd still prefer using the 303 or something like the M1. So because we know the 7mm is just overpowered for these guys, we're not going to test this anymore. We kind of already know what's going to happen no matter where we hit them. Just because of how insanely power powerful it is. But we will try out the 243 next on some more Sika deer. We should have some of them right over in this area. There they are. There is our Sika deer. I don't like the angles they're at, so we are going to have to get closer. Okay, there we go. Finally got it to go alert. Which means we should be able to get the angle we need. In fact, we'll try the single lung first and see how that does. Alright, so here's where we hit it. It definitely, definitely ran quite a ways. So I definitely would say that the 243 is probably towards the bottom when it comes to these Sika deer. And in fact, wow, it might be worse than the 3030. This thing ran a long ways. Depending on where we hit it, it's looking kind of bad for the 243. Yeah, that was a single lung. <laughs> you guys remember the single lung on the Mosin actually did way, way better than this. And even the 3030 did better. So that's kind of sad. 71 meters with a single lung with the 243. I guess the real test will be what the double lung looks like on it. But yeah, so far 243 is doing pretty poorly. We got a couple pretty nice level 4s. It looks like one of them is actually a respawn from the beginning of this video. So... Definitely gonna take those level fours out. All right, so this be this should be a good enough distance right here. 167 should be absolutely fine. Uh, let's go ahead and get the 243 out. We'll try to get a shot into both of these. This guy's the most broadside though, so we'll do him first. There we go. So here is one of the vital organ hits. Let's go ahead and pick that one up. They ran about the same, so I'm guessing we hit double lung on both of them. And that was double lung liver. Not too bad. Definitely a solid hit. But even with double lung liver, it still ran 27 meters, so... Definitely not great. And now for this little guy right here, I went back and grabbed the track. And we got... Wow. Double lung stomach liver. 
and it still ran 26 meters. Yeah, the 243 is not great. Definitely will not be using the 243 on these guys at all. All right, so next up we got the 223, which I'm really not expecting much out of this gun, but let's see. Should be a perfect double lung, and any moment now, <laughs> any moment the uh, health should start going down. <laughs> this is why, this is why you don't use the 223 on anything. 50 to 75, to 25 to 50, there we go. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I think one shot's all we're gonna need for this to know how much power it has. My gosh, that was a long way to run just to get a Sika Deer. Definitely am not gonna be using the 223. Yeah, it can't even get double lung. That's unfortunate. <laughs> You're not gonna be getting any double lung shots with the 223. And it just barely gets into that first lung, it seems. Yeah, I think that's pretty much all the testing we need for the 223, so. Let's move on to the M1. I wasn't going to do the M1 because it is the same exact round as the Eckers 30-06, but I know there's going to be a couple people that will complain if I don't use it, so we'll go ahead and test it out anyway. Alright, well, this should be close enough for the M1. We already know what is about to happen. Yeah, that's the M1 for you. Same as the Eckers 30-06. Just drops them on the spot. Alright, so this next rifle is actually going to be kind of interesting. I'm very interested to see what the 4570 is like. Because obviously, the 3030 was awful, but the 4570 is a much more powerful lever action, so this very well could be a really good round. There we go, finally. Yeah, as expected, 4570 dropped her on the spot, so we'll real quickly <laughs> grab this. And then we will go get the two that we took out with the M1. But yeah, as expected, double lung from the 4570 dropped it on the spot from 51 meters. So as with any lever action rifle, the closer you are, the more powerful. But the 4570 clearly has the power to take these guys down pretty quickly. So yeah, not bad. All right, well, as you guys saw, both of these dropped on the spot as was expected using the M1, so we'll just go and grab these real quickly. We already know that pretty much any shot you make with the 30 out 6 will be good, unless it's a single lung, so yeah, as long as you hit something else besides single lung, you should be good. Alright, so we're going to do one more shot with the 4570 just to try and get an idea of a longer range shot on them. Gotta find where this guy called from, but I just heard a male seek it here, so there we go. That should be a perfect test subject. We'll try a little bit different angle too. And yeah, as I kind of expected, it still dropped it. All right, well, here this little guy is. Let's take a look at the damage. Yeah, that was just a single long hit at 103 meters. So I'd say the 4570 is on par in power wise with the seven millimeter and the 303. So definitely a very viable choice if you're into the lever actions. The only downside is going to be that you're not going to be able to take as far of shots. I'd say maybe a max of 200 meters, but, but for most people, 150 is the max they'd be taking anyway, so it shouldn't be too big of an issue. Oh my gosh, there's a level 5. <laughs> That's the last thing I expected to see during this. Okay, well, we got pretty lucky then. I guess all this uh, smoking Sika deer for this video has gotten us a good respawn. <laughs> That is amazing. Okay. Well, <laughs> the next gun that we're going to test out is going to be the muzzle loader with the mini ball ammunition. So, we got something really cool to take it out with. That is absolutely awesome. That's the last thing I expected to see over here. Knowing my luck is probably going to troll though cuz we've had two trolls and only one diamond so far. So, yeah, that's a little little unfortunate, but honestly, I am very curious to see what this muzzleloader is going to do. It should just absolutely obliterate this poor thing. All right, well, I ran out of disk space on my hard drive, so the recording cut out, but we are back now, and uh, luckily I didn't shoot while it wasn't recording, but let's go ahead and take this guy out now. Very curious to see if this will make diamond. Oh my gosh. 
As I expected, the muzzleloader dropped it in its tracks, and I'd imagine it probably hit every single organ, because the muzzleloader has crazy penetration, as most of you know. It's just a powerhouse of a gun. Definitely doesn't get used as much as I think it deserves to be, and that's mainly just because of this long reload time. Alright, well, let's get a good look at this guy. It does appear to be one of the smaller racks. It doesn't have as much uh, bend in the antlers, so... There's a pretty high chance of this trolling, but that's a really good spot for a screenshot, I gotta say. Yeah, that guy landed in an amazing spot, so... Let's get a look at this guy, see if it is a diamond. And it is a diamond, oh my gosh! Just barely! A diamond seek it ear. Well... <laughs> What an awesome trophy to get while doing this video. That is amazing. That is super awesome. I honestly, this is the last thing I expected to get. And I'm pretty sure this is a respawn from some of the ones we killed towards the beginning of this video because I've reset the time twice since then. And we already killed a bunch of animals at this lake. So this has to be a respawn from during this video, which is crazy. And as I expected, pretty much every organ got hit in that shot. So. That's awesome. Well, anyway, I think we already know what the muzzleloader is capable of after that, so it's time to test the other ammo type for the muzzleloader, because I don't really see many people use the round ball, so I'm kind of curious what it's going to do. Alright, so we got this guy alert at 100 meters, which is the max zeroing distance for the round ball. Let's see if we can get a good shot into this guy. I'm trying to get double lung, so if he turns again... Uh, actually, this guy will do nicely. Well, it still dropped him, so even the round ball is powerful enough. You know, just for good measure, let's get one into this guy to see what the difference is at a quartering angle. It still dropped it. <laughs> wow. The round ball is very powerful. That was a single lung shot at 112 meters, and it dropped it on the spot. So no matter what you use in the muzzleloader, it will take them down pretty efficiently. And here's the second one, this was a stomach, liver, left lung, dropped it in its tracks as we expected, so not bad. So for this last one, it's going to be a gun that I'm sure a lot of you have been interested in seeing me take a Seiko with, and that is the air rifle. I use this thing quite a bit as you guys know, so I'm definitely interested to see what this is going to be like. Yeah, definitely. About in line with uh, what it's like shooting a white-tailed deer with it, so... Definitely probably not gonna be my main choice for just grinding Sika deer, but... Definitely want to get a diamond Sika with the air rifle at some point. And actually, we got some more Sika deer right here running along. If we can get a shot into one of them... Oh, actually, that's perfect. There we go. Dropped it on the spot. Curious where that hit, actually. But anyway, here's the first one. It was just a single lung. Ran 72 meters, so... That's still better than the 223, which is kind of sad, to be honest. Alright, so here is the one we dropped. This was a heart shot. I do want to try and get a double lung without the heart and see how that does, but... Those ones spooked off, so we're gonna have to run over here and try to take one of these guys out. Alright, so here we are perfectly at 150. Uh, I am going to try to get to 100 because 150 is a little bit far for the air rifle. Unfortunately, that wind is not in our favor, so we're going to have to try and just get a shot on one of these. This should be perfect. And yeah, looks like it was perfect. And yeah, we got double lung on that and it still ran 29 meters. So, yeah, air rifle. It honestly feels just the same as shooting whitetail with it. And this other one we ended up screwing up. We have a very low bleed rate, so... Yeah. Guess we'll go ahead and end it there. But anyway, in conclusion, it appears that there's definitely a few rifles that are better than the others. I'd say that your top rifles for taking out the Seekadir are going to be the 303, the M1, the Eckers 30-06... The 7mm, and if you're a lever action guy, the 4570 will also do nicely. If you enjoy muzzle loaders, those seem to work pretty good with both types of ammunition. So, there's quite a few options for efficient ways to take down the Sika deer. As far as rifles that are still pretty good, but not nearly as good, you could use the 6.5 or the Mosin. And 
Honestly, the 270 is not that bad either. As far as rifles, I'd completely stay away from. That includes the 3030, the 223, the 243, and also the air rifle unless you enjoy a challenge. So definitely quite a bit of guns that aren't great for them. And then there's a fairly large pool of weapons that are actually pretty efficient on these guys. So I hope everybody enjoyed that. We're going to go ahead and jump into the trophy lodge now and check that diamond out. All right, well, we can finally remove the troll brown fur type and replace it with an actual diamond with the brown fur type so that's pretty cool i actually think it has a different rack too so that's awesome both of our diamonds look completely different i'm very happy with that i didn't expect there to be too much variety with the diamond rack based off of the first few that i saw people get but i'm pleasantly surprised that there's at least three different racks that can make diamond for the seeker deer but yeah that's pretty awesome last thing i really expected to find during a video like this but that's really cool. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing. Also, please leave down in the comments some more suggestions for videos that I could potentially do in the future, and your comment might get featured in the next video. But thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.